What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas and in this one I'm going to unbox the Sigma 18-35 to constant aperture of f1.8. I want to preface this video by saying I'm no film guru or photo expert so I'm not going to be breaking out the calibration cards and looking at uh, chromatic aberration or vignetting. This video is just for those starting YouTubers like myself. I'm very inexperienced and this has all been a learning process. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We'll start this one off by taking a tour around the box. This is one of Sigma's art line of lenses. The 18-35 f1.8 constant aperture lens has a 72 millimeter filter size. The same information is communicated on all four sides of the box with nothing on the bottom. The top is where you'll find your four-year warranty sticker as Sigma is offering four years of protection against hardware malfunctions, which is a nice value add in my opinion. Upon opening the box, you're provided your copy of Sigma's America's limited warranty information sheet, the instruction pamphlet, and warranty sticker. Sigma provides you a carrying case for the lens which houses the lens and the lens hood wrapped in plastic. The lens hood displays indicator markings on a nicely constructed piece of plastic. Now, onto the lens. This thing is substantially heavier than the kit lens I've been using up until this point. The build quality of this lens is fantastic. I'm extremely excited to begin using this as my go-to lens and my daily driver, if there is such a thing with lenses. The zoom and focus rings function in the opposite directions of the kit lens. It took me about five minutes of playing around with it to grasp that change, and now that I have grasped it, I prefer it. It seems more natural to me in my opinion. In addition to that, the rings have a nice smooth throw, allowing even the most novice of users to get those ever elusive rack focus shots that look professionally done. I'm completely flabbergasted by the build quality of this thing. The weight of it might be a turnoff to some of you, but personally, I absolutely love it. I could not be happier with it and I'm excited to add it to my equipment list. The autofocus and manual focus switch has a substantial click to it, so you know exactly which setting you have selected. The included lens hood connects to the lens in a way that is unobtrusive to the glass itself, as you can still place filters on your lens and also store it with the lens cap on. Sigma has done a fantastic job with this lens, and it has made me a better videographer almost instantly. It's pretty crazy that something as tangible as a lens can have that much of effect on your production value. In addition to that, the lens is something you have to see in person to truly appreciate the quality Sigma is providing here. With all that, let's take a look at some sample footage I shot with my T4i and this lens.
Well, in closing, I can't recommend this enough. If you're a beginning YouTuber like myself or a professional photographer, this is something you need in your equipment bag. Um, the value add that Sigma provides is significant with the four-year warranty like I spoke of earlier in this video. In addition to that, if you uh, decide to change your camera body, say you went from Canon to Nikon or vice versa, uh, you can send the lens into Sigma for a small fee and they'll change out the mount for you. Um, that is absolutely awesome. That means you don't have to wipe your equipment table clean of lenses that you've already acquired. Uh, say you went and stayed with Sigma. Where does this take me in the future? Well, this one piece of gear has sold me for life with Sigma. And that means I'm gonna seek out more art lenses. Uh, that's, that's a definite and a necessity on my part. Um, I haven't been this excited about a product since I purchased my MacBook Pro. And I think it's definitely gonna change the way uh, I film. And it's definitely enhanced my passion. Uh, it's, it's made those cinematic shots possible on my part. Um, from, this is coming from someone that's not that great a cinematographer. Another thing, uh, if you're skeptical, if you have a Rebel DSLR and you're skeptical of purchasing this because of the quality, um, I'm here to uh, squash that skepticism uh, so you can move forward and just purchase this thing. I have a T4i, which I'm recording on now, uh, and this functions well. But that's subjective to the individual. If you didn't like my sample footage, then this lens may not be for you, but... Um, I would argue that. I absolutely am awed by this thing. It's definitely freed up my concern that I usually have with my kit lens, which I'm filming on now. Um, I shot this closing uh, prior to this on a prime lens and I could not get it to focus. Um, so if you have questions, comments, or concerns about this lens, please feel free to comment down below. I, I try my best to get back to everybody and I've, I've done a pretty good job up until this point. Uh, well, that about does it for me in this one, everybody. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. I value your feedback, so feel free to comment and ask questions as well. After you're done liking, disliking, commenting, or sharing, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. In addition to that, check out my channel. If you like what you've seen here and what you've seen on my channel, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Take care. No more crappy lenses.